As a nail technician, your service time is valuable. We're gonna show you three tips to cut your acrylic sculpting service time down, right now on Nail School. All right, man, three tips to cut your acrylic sculpting service time. Talk to us. So this is going to help you guys tremendously. I feel that a lot of people out there that are trying to save time when it comes to their acrylic services focus on just one part, which they think is just application. It's a combination of many things. It's a combination of preparation, application, and if your application is tight, your finishing is gonna go faster. So we're gonna break it down so that your prep is fast, you're gonna be able to save time in your application. Uh, that's going to lead to a much faster filing and finishing. Check this out. So your first time saving tip is during preparation. We want to focus on pushing the cuticles back, but it's not necessary to sit there and focus too long. You just really want to get that skin back enough so that it's going to be really easy for you to remove shine with your electric file. You don't want to use a hand file and have to like sit there and try to remove shine around the whole surface and spend basically wasted minutes being thorough. You could do that with a medium arbor band and a really low speed. How you're going to accomplish that is by coming around the cuticle gentle and then again working diagonally, right, by feathering away the shine, right, gently from the surface of the natural nail. And as you can see, I'm quickly going to come through and do it not just fast but effectively. The time it takes you to remove shine from the surface of the nail, then you swipe to clean the surface and protein bond all 10 nails twice, shouldn't take you more than five minutes. We're now ready for application. So if it's taking you longer than five minutes, you have to be able to assess what you're spending too much time wasting. Are you spending too much time wasting pushing the cuticles back? Are you spending too much time wasting trying to be too thorough in your preparation? Um, it really is a matter of understanding how to feather away the shine as fast as you can without, again, creating heat, creating damage. It's being gentle, and if you have the right tools to do it, you're gonna be able to do it not just fast, you're going to be able to do it effectively. Next is application. When it comes to applying acrylic to the nail, I find that the biggest struggle with a lot of beginners is they build the nail way too thick. The key is getting it tight to the cuticle area, and the way you're going to be able to accomplish that, again, is with a pearl that's on the wet side. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you so you see how tight it is so that it's going to lead to the least amount of filing. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to take cover pink powder and I'm going to demonstrate to you how I'm going to build the nail in the least amount of pearls. When sculpting the nail, in order for you to get fast, you could do it in one big pearl, but I'm gonna break it down into two stages. The key is to save you, again, at least five to 10 minutes in your application. You're not going to save time by, again, building this massive amount of product on the nail. Set yourself up so that when you do your body work, it's going to move fast. With my first pearl, I want to be able to work with a consistency that's going to be a little bit on the dry side. So either by holding it or dabbing off the excess amount, what I'm going to be able to do is when I set it to the free edge, it's not going to run anywhere. This is going to allow me to bring it all the way up tight to the front of the nail without the product getting away at all. I will be able to shape the desired length as well as the desired shape. For this one right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up putting it more into an almond shape so that it's going to be extremely easy to overlay. So as you guys can see, I'm quickly going to be able to shape it just like this. 
When doing multiple fingers, you have to remember you can put this down and work on the next finger. If any part of this ends up sliding down, you could always go back over the top and again, just guide that into the proper position so that it's going to be really easy for you to work from here to here. This is where the true speed comes into effect. You want to be able to lay the pearl down and work it around the perimeter of the nail in the least amount of steps. I find that a lot of people, what they end up doing, especially beginners, they push it in and it creates a big bulge in the back. You have to try to lay the product down flush to the perimeter of the nail and the only way to be able to accomplish that is if the pearl is wet enough. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a large enough pearl to overlay the whole entire surface. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to the cuticle area. Now notice, as soon as I set it down, the tip of my brush, tap, tap, tap. It's running down towards the free edge. I'm tapping it flush. I am literally finished with my cuticle area. All I have to do is balance the product through the whole entire nail. So I could either brush it through, right? I could brush it through, and then again, if there's uneven amounts of product all the way through, all I have to do is literally guide it into place. Notice that I don't even touch the cuticle anymore. All I am doing is working the product over the whole entire structure. What this is going to allow me to do is fill in all the space, right? And again, create the structure that's going to be extremely easy to file. One thing you're going to notice after the application is how the cuticle area runs again flush to the natural nail. There's no thick ledge. When it's applied like this, it's going to take a minimal amount of filing to get around the perimeter of the nail and through the body. This is going to set you up so that you don't have to file a lot. Around the four minute mark, again, if your client has nails that are quite wide at this area, you're always going to be able to take your magic wand and pinch it into shape. This is going to, again, create a nice C curve. You're gonna be able to build a thinner structure and create a lot more strength with this C curve in place. Once the product is dry, you're going to notice you're going to notice the shape. I really don't have to do that much filing. This is really, really key to you saving time in your finishing. I'm going to come around the perimeter to make sure that it's nice and even, coming down from corner to the tip because we're creating that really nice almond shape. I'm gonna turn my hand to the side to make sure that my lower arches are going to be completely even. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposing side. Again, I don't really have that much to file, right? So my perimeter is well filed and shaped. The amount of time I spend filing is not going to be long. Take a look. My upper arch, I'm going to come through the free edge, right, to make sure that my C curve is going to be nice and even from side to side. I'm going to quickly go around the cuticle area to take down any bulk if there is and then follow through the body of the nail. Look at this. That's literally all the filing I have to do. And last but not least, I'm going to take my hand file and I'm going to go around the cuticle area to make sure that we blend it nice and tight to the whole entire perimeter of the nail. Remember, I don't have a ledge, so the amount of filing that I have to do is at a minimum. I could literally follow through the body, all the way down, through the front of the nail, just like this, and as you can see, the amount of filing required is not much at all. We're going to clean the surface, we're now going to take protein bond onto the surface. We're now going to take finish gel 
from cuticle to free edge. And as you can see, the nail is done. I'm just going to stick this inside the light for two minutes and the nail is done. Saving at least 15 minutes off of your acrylic service is super attainable. It's a matter of being efficient with your preparation. It's a matter of being precise with your application so that your perimeter, your cuticle area is tight to the nail, which is going to lead to less finishing. When put all together, it's going to save you time on your acrylic application.